Aha! In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen joined forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GI. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson, and he's Vice President of the California Fire and Life. Pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon, editor of the Times. Doctor. District Attorney Don Sandler and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Hear, hear. And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Leland? You cannot throw them up fast enough, Ray. And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now, that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds by the back door. You can't have it both ways. Herbert, Herbert, Herbert. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean right. our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? <laughs> it still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise $3 billion. I need to find a game well or a telephone. Yes. This is great. B Big Dumper just did a 25 inch race. So do rich people all stand around smoking cigars, revealing their evil plans all the time? Yes, they do. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GI. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. The real should be in the I already watched it. Suburban Redevelopment Fund. I already watched the fucking thing, you idiot. He's Vice President of the California Fund. No! Pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon. Editor of the Times, Doctor, District Attorney Don Sandler, and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disorder. The hell happened in there? A short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree. That the city of angels does rather well basking in the herpader. The, the cutscene repeats herpader. Oh, what's this? Here, here, and it's something that every sucker getting on here, the here. Union station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream. Here we go. All right. Yes, all evil people sit around smoking cigars around a, a table like that, filming themselves to reveal the, their evil plots. I don't know if you guys do that or not. That's pretty commonplace. <laughs> Operator, can you put me through to police dispatch? Putting you through now. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buck Walter case? Mr. Benson, are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. <laughs> Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. 
Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Luke Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Can you put me through to someone who isn't a complete asshole? Anyone? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Ugh. Yes, and what have you found? Ugh. It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Auf Wiedersehen, Mr. Kelso. Thanks for your help. Big Dumper did another 20-bit cheer. He says, the voice acting in this game is pretty good. It's weird, because a lot of the voice acting is good, but some of it sounds like it's inside of a tin can. Like, for some reason, the recording studio didn't have the same, like, settings or something every day. Because some of it sounds outstanding, and then sometimes you do an interview, and you're like, blah, 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 blah. what the fuck? Why does it sound so bad? Alright. Blue Room. Shout out to One Ton Hammer who just did a 1500 bit cheer and said Happy New Year's. Happy New Year to you, One Ton Hammer. Thank you for the cheer. You are definitely the cheerleader for today's stream. Very nice. Follow her. What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's not plan. my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risk. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help. He hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. Oh, yeah. Grab that ass. Get some titty. There you go. Ass and titty. I told you. He's gonna fuck her right there in the alley. Holy shit. Dude, he banged her right against the fucking wall. Jesus Christ, man. Dude, Cole Phelps is a fucking sexual dynamo. He lifted her up. It was amazing. He's doing all these crazy positions. <laughs> what the hell? Well, Big Dumper did a 500-bit cheer. He says, I'm the cheerleader. I mean, technically, you are. I think you, overall you've done more cheering than anyone today. But the biggest cheer was from One Ton Hammer. And Channel 33 did a 100-bit cheer. He said, it's Rusev Day. There you go. What are we doing? I guess we're going there. I don't know. I gotta drive over there? Fuck! It's Rusev Day! Every day is Rusev Day. Cole Phelps behind the wheel! Oh! I'm in a rush! Oh wait, is this Kelso again? This is Kelso again, never mind. I thought this was fucking Cole Phelps' Kelso. Never mind. Am I even supposed to be going there? Oh! Fuck. I've got a job to do. I don't even know where I'm... Let me go to the other place. I don't even think I'm going to the right place. I don't know what's happening. Where am I going? What am I doing? Did I go the wrong way? I don't know what I'm doing. What am I supposed to do? What's happening? I don't even know where I am. Where is it going? <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What's happening? Where do I go? I'm driving in circles. Oh, 
Who wants Mexican? There's some Mexican food right here. At the at the paint store. Must where's, be his blind spots. Where's the blue room? I don't know where I'm going. Is there a way to fast travel in this fucking game? Hold on. If you hold triangle, you fast travel. You don't have to drive at all. <clears throat> oh my god. <clears throat> all right. Wow. Well, at least I don't have to drive now. <laughs>